Carter Lowe in Columbus today, checking out the sixth-ranked Buckeyes facing Western Kentucky. First Ohio State possession, and they go right down the field. Travion Henderson, the handoff gets to the outside. The Hilltopper is not going to catch him. That's the first of two Henderson touchdowns in the first half. Now in the second quarter, OSU up 14-10 when the offense really comes alive. Off the play action, Kyle McCord is going deep, and he's got Marvin Harrison Jr. The high school teammate connects again a 75-yard strike as it's 21-10. McCord had 318 passing yards. After the Hilltoppers turn it over on down, the Buckeyes needed just one play, Trip Chaneman, a 40-yard touchdown as back-to-back one-play TD drive has OSU firmly in control after a WKU turnover. Ohio State needed four plays to score again. McCord to Emeke Abuka for 15 yards out, and it's just a blowout in the horseshoe. That point, it was 42-10. to 10. The defense added a pair of scores in the second half as it was 63-10, your final, just an ugly one out there. As Mark Coons tells us, Ryan Day finally got what he was looking for this season. Earlier this week, Ryan Day talked about wanting more explosive plays and more efficient play out of his offense. Well, in the second quarter tonight, with Ohio State only up 14-10. He got exactly what he was wishing for as the Buckeyes scored four touchdowns in just nine plays to put this game away. I mean, it, it, they play off of each other. And... Um, when, when we're running the ball the way we were today, that makes it a lot easier. And that was big. It, it was big to, to get some explosive runs. It was good, good to move the line of scrimmage. We converted on some third downs much better. Um, wasn't perfect again. We'll keep working at it. But there was some really good things there. When we're staying efficient in the run game, that allows us to be more aggressive throwing the ball. It was just effort and execution. So when you're not, when you're not making the plays necessarily, the, the energy can go down and that kind of, you know, um, Puts a, puts a damper on things as an offense and as a team. Um, so it's all about making plays, and making plays comes with, you know, effort and execution. I know I keep saying it, but it's been a huge hitting point for us. Yeah, I think this was probably our most complete game as an offense, um, and uh, just trying to continue to take strides. And um, felt like we ran the ball really well. I feel like uh, we had success passing the ball, and so it's definitely a good confidence boost uh, going into, obviously, a big test next, next week. Ohio State's defense did give up a season-high 10 points, but they were also responsible for 12 points with a pair of touchdowns. I'm getting old. My hips, I couldn't get down enough. They moved me into the outfield whenever I was little, so I don't have any work like getting grounders. So, I mean, uh, I don't know. As long as, they, as long as the Buckeyes got a touchdown, I'm okay. You know, I kind of just threw my body in there. Yeah. You know, just yeah. see what happens in the ball game. I'm like, I seen the ball go into the pile into the end zone. I knew I couldn't get there, but I knew my guys were going to come out with it. And when I seen Ty Lee get the ball, I'm like, And before the stadium lights were even turned off, Ohio State had begun to focus on Notre Dame. It just uh, gave us a lot of momentum going into the next week. Just, we kind of just put out there like what we can do against the team. So now we got to show a big and win those big games. Uh, yeah, it does. I mean, we love we love big games. We love matchup games. That's, what we come, that's why you come to Ohio State is to play, you know, Notre Dame and South Bend. Um, so, you know, we've already started on them. Uh, we weren't looking past Western Kentucky by any means, but we know, you know, this one, this one's a big game. So uh, we're going to celebrate this win, but we're, we're all laser focused and we're ready to play them. So next Saturday, Ohio State, Notre Dame, both undefeated, both in the top 10. That will be the showdown we've all been waiting for with the Buckeyes coming in on a high note after today's 63-10 victory. In Columbus, Smart Coots, BCSN.